channels in no way an attempt to be an extension of what had been done at Camp David. We were no superpower, we couldn't summon anybody, and we had no leverage on anybody. There are, you know, enormous nationalistic, religious, extremist counter forces. Many have forgotten that it was Israeli terrorists who was the first to, to raid the agreement in, in Hebron. I to start with the, with the Camp David, of course, when we took off in 2001, uh, Camp David was kind of distant memory. I mean, what was on our mind, which was very, very present, was of course the Oslo uh, process. And I think it is one of the beauties of Norwegian politics that once we agree to do something in this uh, uh, area, we do it for the long haul. We don't change when we change government. Which means that uh, once we have worked on the this issue, that was of course something that we wanted to, to uh, continue. For me, the failure of Carter in this first year, not pulling this paper up until the end of the piece, I'm just talking about the first, the first year, ending, say, in October 77, is that for me, that was the kickstart of what I would call the wasted decade in terms of U.S. PLO relations. And the reason I call it the wasted decade is that prior to 1977, the Americans hadn't really realized that the PLO were simple. They hadn't really realized that the Palestinians were the core of the conflict. And after that realization was made, they did not open direct contact with the PLO until 1988. And across the political spectrum in Israel today, most politicians have abandoned any of this uh, idea of a two-state solution to resolve the conflict. Uh, in December of 2017, uh, the leader of the right-wing Jewish Home Party, IFAUD, Naftali Bennett, told one interviewer, rather than a separate state for Palestinians, he believes in what he called an economic stability plan. Um, and that's why these twin anniversaries that I opened with Ken David and also uh, give us an opportunity to rethink a little bit uh, uh, where the roots of statelessness come from and what alternatives there might be in the future, no matter uh, what the political arrangement by which the Palestinian question might conceivably be addressed, it cannot be separated from this underlying principle of self-determination that remains uh, at the very heart of Palestinian demand.